Welcome back and the next very important concept that we need to understand is the relationship between business and the business owner itself in accounting. So let us start. First of all, this concept is called separate entity concept and what that means is for the purposes of business accounting, the business is a separate entity from the business owner itself. Now what does that mean? Let me explain you step by step. First of all, the owner's money in business is called owner's capital or owner's equity. That is something we discussed in the last lecture as well. The owner's capital is a kind of liability on business. Now business is a separate entity and a separate entity is receiving money from the business owner. That means that this money is a liability on the business because that is coming from some other person. The next thing, if the owner makes a new investment into the business, if owner inputs new money, the owner's capital increase. If the owner withdraws any money from the business, the owner's capital decrease. And finally, profit belongs to the owners of the business. So it also becomes a part of the owner's capital. Let us say we have just started a business with $10,000 in cash and we have invested that money into the business so first of all we are going to record that ten thousand dollars in the books of business as owners capital after that we also invested five thousand dollars into the business that is also going to be recorded into the business books after that we withdrew two thousand dollars from the business for the personal needs so in the books of business this two thousand dollars will, will be shown as withdrawn and now the owner's capital will be represented at thirteen thousand dollars after that business made a profit of five hundred dollars now the profit belongs to the owners so this will also be added to the owner's share into the business and now you can see that the owner's capital will be thirteen thousand five hundred dollars